Thanks to all of you for the hard work this week. I am elated to report that everyone finished the first assignment. Kudos. I have posted points and percentages in the Grade Center with rather extensive comments. The comments are rather candid and are intended to be helpful as we move forward. Many of you may be disappointed, or some of you may be disappointed, and I do promise to be easier and more generous with points going forward. We can always drop the first set of grades. But there are several important points that are best communicated through honest feedback at the beginning of the term. These points are also best communicated on these low-stake assignments on the discussion forum rather than later in the term on the higher-stake writing assignments. Foundations of Sociological Theory is a very difficult course. You cannot possibly do all the readings assigned. You cannot possibly understand all the concepts and ideas presented. You are reading excerpts from the works of people who are singularly recognized in their historical periods for their contributions to sociology. Most of them wrote 20 or 30 books, and all of us ordinary folks stretch to understand and build on the ideas of just one or two of them. The best strategy is probably to read through the material and then hunker down with some determination on the real mastery of one or two ideas. Create a thoughtful first post. Proofread it before finalizing what you wish to communicate and how you wish to say it. The same is true for comments to peers. Every instructor is different, but here I would like to see some real quality, genuine, and thoughtful efforts to read through the work of one of your peers or one or two of your peers and then to engage with him or her in a discussion on a point of mutual interest toward the goal of clarifying fine points and then developing a more profound understanding of the readings. One sentence or two, one sentence or two word comments do not serve this purpose. Uh, partner up for breadth as well. Only a couple of you have commented on the mode of the discussion, but I do think you will do better if we have two separate threads for two groups. These are not separated by walls or armed borders or even electronic barricades, as is the case with your wiki groups. On the discussion board, these will be informal categories for convenience to help you focus. You can read and post in a different group on the discussion board if you wish. Finally, select the topic for your first paper early. Remember, the essay and final paper will count as 60% of your final grade. Each discussion counts as only 2%, so even if you make an F on every discussion, and I'm not suggesting that this is a good idea, you will lose 10 points on your final grade unless you do absolutely nothing and then earn zero grades. The discussions should help you. They should build your confidence and prepare you for the more serious writing in your papers. Finally, contact me with any questions or ask questions of a more general nature on the Ask Your Professor forum. All good wishes for this semester, for the week, and for the weekend. Good wishes, Dr. Walters.